Egged as the blue apron option with dealing with hunger tonight, the Trump administration wants to scale back the food stamps program and instead use half those dollars to send recipients a box of food each month. Supporters say it could save the country billions over the next decade because the government could buy the food at wholesale prices instead of retail. But is this plan feasible and how would it impact the community, our community, communities across the United States? 11 Alive's Naima Abdullahi talked to a local nonprofit group to get some answers. Organizations like Hosea Helps and the Atlanta Community Food Bank are paying close attention to the newly proposed 2019 federal budget because it impacts the thousands of people they help. Here's the breakdown. Food stamp recipients who receive at least $90 a month would be impacted. According to the USDA, about half of its food assistance budget would go towards the food delivery system, which would be called the USDA America's Harvest Box. The Atlanta Community Food Bank which helps about 700,000 people in Metro Atlanta throughout the year, doesn't think the SNAP program deserves a dramatic change. And we're concerned about uh, how that budget might uh, threaten and weaken a really important program that helps provide food uh, for families, kids, and seniors. And Hosea Helps agrees the nonprofit has been a longtime Atlanta staple. There's some freedom in the current SNAP system the ability to choose your diet, change your diet. But the administration says this would be beneficial to the 16 million people it would impact across the country. Sonny Perdue, the Secretary of Agriculture, says, quote, USDA America's Harvest Box is a bold, innovative approach to providing nutritional food to people who need assistance, feeding themselves and their families, and all of it is homegrown by American farmers and producers. This proposed transformation of the nation's food stamp program brings up questions about distribution and transportation. How are those cities going to deliver food to rural America? The proposal is part of the proposed 2019 budget and would have to get approval from Congress. Naima Abdullahi, 11 Alive News.